Hello everybody, this is the first video of my new series, Games Nobody Played. Now, by name alone, it's pretty self-explanatory, but the basic idea is for me to shed light on a specific video game that very few people have ever played or even heard of. Kango Legend of the Nine was released on the Xbox 360 on September 11th, 2007. Uh, Kango Legend of the Nine, or Kango Zero in Japan and Europe, was developed by Genki and published by Majesco Entertainment. Already you can tell that this is a wonderful game. Side note, Bioshock was released on Xbox 360 on August 21st, 2007, just a month before Kango. <clears throat> Kango Legend of the Nine is the fourth and latest game in the series. Kango Master of Bushido was the first in the series, and some may remember that as an early title from the PS2 days. The original Kango Master of Bushido was known as a spiritual successor to Bushido Blade, the cult classic weapon-based fighting game on the PlayStation 1, or PSX for cool people. Legend of the Nine can currently be purchased from Amazon for in between $3 and $10, and GameStop offers the game for $3.99. This is the part where I make a metaphor in regards to the price of a Subway sandwich. So what's it about? Kango Legend of the Nine is a retelling or reimagining of nine of the most famous samurai in Japanese history. I think, I really didn't do too much research for this bubble, but that makes the most sense. So the nine characters are Musashi Miyamoto, Okita Soji, Sakamoto Ryomo, Yagyu Jubei, Chiba Sanako, Ito Itosai, Haribe Yasube, Akado Izo, and I'm sure I butchered all of those. Now you can also unlock the boss character Nenami Jion, but he only serves as a playable character in the local versus mode. Okay, so what's it actually play like? Now, I personally describe Legend of the Nine as a roguelike samurai simulator with arcade-style progression, but really it's just a basic hack-and-slash game with linear stage advancement. There's no tutorials or training modes to speak of, and therefore owning the manual of the game is actually pretty vital to getting a quick understanding of the game's mechanics. There's not a lot, but comprehending the instant kills makes the game's difficulty much lower than you might initially think. Back in the day, I once considered Legend of the Nine to be an incredibly difficult, like Dark Souls kind of game, and I admit being wrong. Kango is simply frustrating, and relies on some dated arcade-like mechanics to deliver what seems like a tough game. All the nine characters progress through either eight or nine stages in the campaign, and in each level you are tasked with killing something like 40 enemies. At no point are there any checkpoints or health recovering items, so each individual level needs to be done in one run. Most of the enemies are easily killed using any combination of button mashing, but tougher enemies and bosses can kill you in one hit, requiring you to start the stage completely over. Now this is incredibly frustrating, especially when you're still just trying to learn how the game plays. As of right now, Kengo currently has a Metacritic score of 38. I can't really disagree with the score, but I'm almost positive that a large majority of the critics tasked with reviewing it played on the game's easy mode. On that level of play, you really can't lose so long as you know how to block occasionally meaning you could, potentially, beat a character's campaign in less than two hours just by button spamming. It's technically a viable way of playing, but it's interesting how few people really get Kengo. On one hand, you could play Kengo like a real samurai, you could parry and block, make use of all your moves, but ironically, the best way to play and beat Legend of the Nine on the game's hardest mode is to spam moves. Not just any moves, though, a specific combo is that can be guard-canceled into never-ending chains of attacks. It's a bit sad that a game with half a dozen techniques is best played by abusing a combo breaking mechanic, but it seems like the developers wanted you to do this as enemies often make use of the same thing. So it's a really weird game, and after dropping just under 50 hours into the game to complete it, I'm not really sure I liked any of it. The satisfaction from finishing a game no one has really touched is intriguing, but I don't think I've ever had really any fun on the game's own merits. So, you could play Kango if you're a masochist. Really, I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, there is one mode in the game where you're tasked with killing a thousand enemies in a row at once in one run. So there's that, and you might be into that kind of thing. But really, in a nutshell, there's, that's Kango Legend of the Nine. I mean, there's some other things you can talk about, like the online multiplayer, but that takes about ten seconds. In fact, I'll do it right now. The multiplayer for Kingdom Legend of the Nine is done after you beat the story mode, and you use the save data from your character to play online. Now, based on the way that you beat the game, your character will fight online identically. So if you beat the entire game by parrying, well, your character is only going to parry attacks online, and will actually probably be pretty good.
All right, so that's everything I can think about in regards to Kango Legend of the Nine on the Xbox 360. If you have any other games you'd like me to cover, I'd really appreciate it if you left a comment in the comment section. I don't know where else you'd put one. Um, also, if you liked it, please like it, please subscribe. I try to make videos as often as I can without becoming a lunatic. But um, yeah, I make videos occasionally. Sometimes they're about Spec Ops The Line. I'll be bringing up the occasional Let's Play if it's of decent enough quality. And hopefully I'll be doing more of these Games Nobody Plays played videos. Um, I have an idea of what I'll be doing next, but like I said, if there's something you really want to see, it's a good chance I might own it. I'm a big game collector. I've got just under a thousand games, so if it's obscure, I might own it. So leave a comment, please subscribe, please like. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for watching, everyone.